Congressman Paul, what would it be? Just come home. We just marched in. We just got I'm saying we should take our marching orders from our Constitution. We should not go to war. We should not go to war without a declaration. We should not go to war when it's an aggressive war. This is an aggressive invasion. We've committed the invasion of this war, and it's illegal under international law. That's where I take my marching orders, not from any enemy. Just come home. Why have we gone to war since World War II without a declaration of war? Why do we have a monetary system that is not designed by the Constitution? Why do we have a welfare state running out of control, not designed by the Constitution? You can't pay lip service to the Constitution without obeying it. And we should have peace and prosperity. That should be our goal. We in foreign policy ought to have a golden rule. We ought to treat others as we would want others to treat us. And we don't treat others so fairly. We treat them like we're the bully, that we're the policemen of the world, and we're going to tell them to behave. If we don't, if they don't listen to us, we bomb them. If they listen to us, we give them more money. And it's bankrupting this country because we don't live up to our principles. The principles are embedded in our Constitution. You want to bring troops home. What should the U.S. footprint be internationally? What is the U.S. role? Well, in it should be a footprint of trade and friendship, as we were advised, and as the Constitution permit. The footprint shouldn't be a military footprint. It shouldn't so bring... be. The footprint we're leaving now are drone missiles dropping bombs and killing innocent civilians lodged from the United States at, with computers. That's not the kind of footprint I want. Afghanistan, how quickly would you bring as the troops quick home? as the ships could get there. It's insane on what we're doing. And I'll tell you one thing about this business about the military. We just had a quarterly report, and they listed all the money that all the candidates got from the military. I got twice as much as all the other candidates put together on the Republican side, and even more than Obama got.